What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to take a look at how to use pre-chat survey variables inside of notifications in Omnichannel. Okay, so the notification, the thing that pops up in the top right when an agent receives an incoming conversation, there's different things that you can add in there to help the agents kind of see what's what the conversation is about just ahead of time, just a little bit of information that we gather and that that can be helpful for the agents uh, just to give them a little heads up right so what we're going to take a look at is how to actually display information inside there and we're going to use the example of going through a pre-chat survey so here we are on the chat that we had built earlier and let's go over to surveys and in a previous video i went through this uh with how the pre-chat conversation surveys work Basically, what we did here is we created one variable or one question, and we're basically asking a potential customer or a current customer, what do you want to chat about? Do you want to talk about sales or do you want to talk about support, right? A typical scenario for a customer coming to a website. And we can see here that the question name is type of inquiry, all right? So that's, what, that's the context variable that we're going to use and refer to in our notification. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we configure this. So for this particular chat widget, this widget is not authenticated. I've gone through examples of how to set up authenticated chats. This one at the moment is not authenticated and that's gonna be uh, important because of how we set up the notification, okay? So let's go over here to notifications and we see we have a whole bunch of notifications here. If we go back to the work stream, we can tell which notification template is actually assigned to the work stream in a various scenario. So the one we're looking at here is the live chat work stream. That's the one that's the one that's tied to our chat widget. And we can see here, if we go over to templates, we have the incoming unauthenticated chat, and that's the one that will be used when an unauthenticated chat comes in. And this is the template here, okay? So let's just go ahead and open it real quick and take a look at it. Um, this is the out of the box template and it says here, this is a system notification template and can't be edited. And we see that it has certain characteristics here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create a new one. Let's click on new here and we will call this chat unauthenticated with pre-chat. Like that, all right? And we'll give it a unique name. MSDYN underscore chat unauth. And let's give it a title. We'll just copy the name, put that into the title here. And everything else looks pretty good. We're going to keep the accept button and the reject button. We won't show uh, the desktop notifications. We'll click save. Okay. So here's the notification field. So now what we wanna do, we'll click on add a new one, but we're gonna actually go here and create a new record. So a new notification field, okay? So we'll come back to this other record here in a second. So this is pretty simple here. We're gonna give it a name. We're gonna say type of inquiry. And this is what we ask the customer in our pre-chat survey. Uh, type of inquiry notification there and title same thing and the value here right this is where we put in the context variable that was created when we create the pre-chat survey right so this is going to be type of inquiry okay like that so so that's how you do it we're going to click save and then we'll navigate back to our notification fields here. We're gonna add this one in, type of inquiry, click add, and that's all ready to go there. And now we're going to just make sure that's saved and then click back again. And we wanna assign the to the chat, to the work stream, an incoming unauthenticated. We're gonna change this to the one that we just created here, which is this one with the pre-chat, okay? So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, we may need to wait a few minutes for this to come through and then we'll uh, test it out. And while we're waiting here, if we go over to context variables in our work stream, we can see here that this is the context variable that was created. 
type of inquiry. And if we just open that up, we can see here that uh, this is exactly what it looks like. And we have the, the name here. And uh, so we can make sure that we get it right when we use it in our notification templates. Okay, let's try this out. So we're here on our uh, page with the chat widget in the bottom right. So this is our website that's running our chat widget. We're going to go ahead and click on the Let's Chat icon. And here's the pre-chat survey, the pre-conversation survey asking us what we would like help with. We're going to select support here and we're going to click submit. So now our chat is being routed to the best available agent. And let's go over here and we can see here that this agent is receiving the chat notification. And right at the top here, we can see it says chat unauthenticated with pre-chat. So that is the notification template that we created. So it's displaying the name there. And then here is our variable, right? Our context variable. We have type of inquiry and it's to dash support, right? So this is helpful for the agent because this is a support agent and they know that they're being routed a support request. They know that they're not getting a sales request, right? And they can click accept here and deal with it appropriately. So that's how you can customize notifications in Omnichannel. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.